In this video, what I want to show you is how we can use a method called direct method to set out the eight bevels required to cut a hip roof. Um, the advantage of direct method is uh, can be done on a building site. All you really need is a square, a sliding bevel, something to measure with and a pencil to mark with and without any calculation you can set out all eight bevels and have them on a piece of timber where you can take um, direct reference or you can transfer the bevels directly onto a sliding bevel with um, with not too much effort at all. So all you need is a piece of timber. The piece I've used here is about 500 mil long, it doesn't need to be that long, probably 400 mil would be fine. Uh, this is 90 by 45. Um, the thicker the piece of timber, the better. So 45 is good. If you could get 70, that'd be even better. It'd just make your uh, your edge bevels more accurate. Uh, but the process is, is is exactly the same. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get a sliding bevel, and you need to set it up to your roof pitch. So we're going to use 30 degrees for this video. So I've set my sliding bevel at 30 degrees now. How you get that is up to you. You could use a protractor. You could even set the uh, your drop saw to whatever your roof pitch is, and um, take the uh, or set the sliding bevel up to the angle on your drop saw so you get the uh, the actual pitch. But you need to get that that initial roof pitch set to start with. So we put our sliding bevel on here. We need to come in uh, about 100 mil from one end. And we need to mark in our plumb bevel. Okay, so that that'll be our plumb bevel there, that line. Then what we do is we take the thickness of our timber, so whatever distance this happens to be. Uh, in this case, it's 45 mil, but whatever yours is, and we transfer that on so it's at 90 degrees, or it's parallel to our plumb bevel. And we're not worried about the whole line. We only want to know where it meets this top edge here and from that top edge what we're going to do is just going to square a line across the timber back to this point here like such so effectively what we've got now is we've got the rise of our roof and this line across here represents the plan length of our common rafter so those two dimensions form our plumb and level bevel for our common rafters. So rise, plan length, common rafter. So that must mean that this one here is the true length common rafter. It gives us our plumb and level bevel for our common rafter. So the next step is uh, to do our edge bevel for our creeper. So what we need to do is grab the square again and square a line across from where the, uh, the um, level bevel was from that point square across the timber so that effectively gives us our plan length of um, plan length on this side and on this side we've got the true length of our common rafter and we've joined those two points up that'll give us edge bevel creeper on this corner and edge bevel purlin down on this corner Okay, so now we need to do our edge bevel for our hip. Sorry, our plumb and level bevel for our hip. So what we need to do, we need to extend this line straight down the face of our piece of timber, like such. And then we're going to get the length of this line, and we're going to draw it in here so that where it, the line ends, it lands exactly onto the, the line we've extended out here, like such. So what we've got now is we've got our rise still. We've got this line here, which is now our plan length of our hip. And this will represent the true length of our hip. So that means the two bevels that we've just formed are the plumb and the level bevel for the hip. So now we need to grab our sliding bevel again. We need to actually pick up this bevel, transfer this bevel here onto the sliding bevel, like such. 
and then we're going to move that down the piece of timber and draw that in in again and then we're going to pretty much repeat the process um, to get some more bevels so plumb bevel for the hip mark the thickness of our timber parallel once again we're only interested in this point pick it up square it across with the uh, combo square and that'll give us our plumb and level bevel for our hip there as well. A little bit of a double up, but it needs to be done. Then, once again, we're going to square across the edge. Join the two points. And that'll give us our edge bevel for our hip up in this corner here. So then we need to do our purlin bevel. There's a couple of ways of doing that. The first way is we grab our combo square again and we need to pick a point along our plumb bevel common rafter here um, and just draw a line square to this edge straight up until it hits the edge there and then we're going to square it across the top as well. So straight up, square it across the top then what we need to do, we need to take this length here, which you can just measure, and we're going to transfer it around onto this edge, so you can transfer that around like such. So that length there is the same as that length there. And then we're going to join this point here with this point down here. And that'll give us our face bevel of our purlin. Now there is a way you can do that without having to do any drawing and that is, I'll jump over onto another piece of timber if we cut our timber on our our plumb cut and our edge bevel creeper cut so form a compound cut that can be simply done on, on a drop saw or with a circular saw if you uh, set your circular saw or your drop saw to 45 degrees and then just cut along the plumb cut that will automatically cut that angle for you and then you can just cut square across the timber and that will give you an end like that and this little angle in here is your face bevel purlin so that's just another way you can do it without having to do any drawing at all so that's it that's the eight bevels uh, for a hip roof produced using what we call direct method and as you can see doesn't matter what bevel we have a reference uh, or we can actually reference that bevel off one of the edges mainly this edge um, but uh, pretty easy to transfer those marks off the timber onto a sliding bevel and um, Pretty easy also to set up one of these for all your common roof pitches. So you have it in the truck or in the toolbox and just pull out the one you need for the roof that you're cutting and away you go. So that's it, the eight bevels for a hip roof using what we call direct method.